Welcome back to Headphone Tuesday on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the unboxing and first impressions of the Cephia wireless sports earphones that I recently purchased on Amazon UK. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube as well as Earphone Tuesday, uh, which, funnily enough, happens on a Tuesday, we also unbox, provide first impressions, review, and cover any consumer electronics we believe makes the travel experience better. And this is probably one of the most popular products. When people travel, they often want to consume media, whether that's in audio format or a video format, and uh, connecting it to their devices have a good sound experience. If you have less cables, that might also make life easier for you. So this pair of Cephia or Cephia earphones, uh, the model number is SPB21, um, they're priced under £15 sterling in the UK. And you can sometimes find these for even less, around about £12, on flash deals. So let's have a look at what the packaging says. It essentially gives you details about this. It is Bluetooth 5 earphones, which is great because you can potentially connect this to multiple devices and that your charging time is around about two hours. And uh, that's pretty much it. The usual details such as the wireless range of 10 meters and so forth. The packaging is very, very light. And as you can see, it's very simple. There's no plastic around it. The earphones themselves come in a pouch and in the pouch you have your USB charging cable. Now this is not a normal USB tar charging cable. The main side of it is a USB type A as we've come to expect for most uh, earphone chargers, but this has a proprietary clip so you won't be able to use this interchangeably with other devices as far as I'm aware and you will probably need to carry this cable with you whenever you're planning on using uh, your earphones. Unlike for example other earphones that use standard micro USB or USB type C, here you have a proprietary cable which is a bit of a downside, probably justifies the lower cost. And there's also a quick start and information guide on the earphones themselves. So very, very basic information, only printed on one side, about instructions on how to, to use them. I'm sure we'll read that later. So let's look at the pouch itself. It's a nice little pouch, very, very useful and handy. Uh, it has a zip, and let's open that up and see what's inside. So the earphones themselves are on a, on a string or a sort of lanyard. This is uh, not uncommon. And the idea is that the lanyard goes behind your neck and then the earbuds go in your ear. So nothing surprising there. Uh, actually, I've got them the wrong way around. So this is the right hand side. It has an R on it. And this is left with an L. Uh, let us know if you would like a remedial class preparation video on the Tech Travel Geeks you know, uh, YouTube channel about left and right. We have had people who are a bit confused in the comments section to other earphone unboxings and first impressions. So the cord between the two earbuds is quite soft. It's a soft braided uh, cord. And I have to say, I quite actually enjoy that. It's better than the sort of semi-rigid silicon ones that we've seen in other devices. And then there's the con line control so there's some strong Cephia branding there, and you can see that's where the charger goes. So I'm assuming you put your Cephia charger in there and it clicks in. So that's how you charge. And on the other side, you have your power button, volume up and volume down. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you the fact that there are some spare silicon tips and ear hooks for the earphones. We're going to pair the Cephia SPB21 earphones 
with an iPhone, in this case my orange product red iPhone 12. And I think this week we'll pair with my Pixel 5. And what we'll do is give you some first impressions of what the sound is like after I've used them for a couple of hours. So first things first, let's pair the device. So I'm going to go into the Bluetooth settings on my iPhone. As you can see, it's already connected to my Zep E earphones. And I'm going to long press the power button here. So we'll need to go into further Bluetooth settings. So you can see we've got a blue flashing light on the earphones. Let's see how these Are these us? Oh no, here we are, SPB21. Okay, let's try SPB21. There we have, we're connected. So, very straightforward. Let's double check, Bluetooth, SPB21. I am connected, information, so it doesn't give you any information on the, the battery level of the earphones on the iPhone. I'll check that on Android in a moment. But what I'll do now is pause the video, it'll just be a fraction of a second for you, and I'll be back after I've put them through their paces with some audiobooks, podcasts, uh, some video on YouTube to see if there's any lag, and more importantly, some extremely cheesy music, which I'll link a playlist to in the description to this video. So bear with me, I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, I'm back after having spent some time with the, the Cepheia SBB21 earphones. And I have to say, value for money, they're pretty good as a first impression. Sound is clear, it's uh, slightly on the bassy side, but if you think about it, for the price of what could be a cover for your AirPods Pro case, you're getting a set of pretty decent Bluetooth 5 earphones. Now, with the iPhone, as we saw at the beginning when I paired, uh, there's no indicator of what battery life the earphones have. Whereas if I go into the settings of my uh, Google Pixel 5, which is now connected to them, you can see that I still have 70% battery in the earphones. And that's really, really quite good because on Android, you'll be able to tell what the battery uh, level is without having to check anything else. So I've been playing around with the earphones. I've tested them for a while uh, using audiobooks, uh, using listening to some podcasts, watching some video with spoken words so that you see if there is any disconnect between what you're hearing and not. And I have to say there was very, very little delay, if any. It was imperceivable to me. So I have to say for what is 15 pounds sterling, uh, or if you even better, if you get them on a lightning deal on Amazon, I have to say these are good first impression. The only thing I'll say is that I did make a quick video call earlier to a friend and the microphone was a bit quiet to them on the other end. And that was using Google Meet. But apart from that, I have to say these Cepheia earphones are comfortable uh, in my ear. I haven't had to make any changes. So this is the medium ear tips and the default hooks uh, which go into your earlobe. They stayed quite firm. I've been up and down the corridor a few times and they didn't fall out. So that's a good sign. And the braided material of the cable between the two earbuds is nice and soft. It's not, uh, it's not something that you, you'll feel annoying. So overall, good, good value for money as a first impression. If you'd like to know any more, um, feel free to leave a comment in the section below here on YouTube. Uh, we only thing that I would caveat is that proprietary charger makes it a bit of a not ideal for travel because you will have to carry a dedicated cable. 
But apart from that, I have to say, value for money for £15, I think this is a, a good buy. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase this, e these earbuds on Amazon UK. If you have any more questions, as I said, please leave them in the section below. But for now, thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Goodbye from us. Thank you.